Vavi says Kasar to protest march will be overwhelmingly supported, and Sunday rapist will appear in the Kruger's to a magistrate's court. I'm Lebo Changela with this news update. Kasatu's General Secretary Zwelin Zimavavi says that there are early indications that today's protest march will be overwhelmingly supported. The Labour Federation and civil organisations are protesting against the use of labour brokers and the introduction of the e tolling system on Gauteng highways. Vavi says the number of people and vehicles on the roads this morning has dropped considerably. The numbers of uh, taxis on the streets, the private cars in the highways, Mm -hmm. the people in the trains, not a normal day at all. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do accept that other workers uh, will be at work. A lot of them are are performing essential services type related work, so they have to be at work. Mm -hmm. We know that we are with them in spirit Mm -hmm. and everything, but overwhelming majority have responded. We're happy. It looks like it is business as usual at taxi and bus ranks in Langa, Nyanga and Kalicha with many commuters indicating that they will first go to work before taking part in the march in Cape Town against the proposed e toting system and the use of labour brokers. Kosartu spokesperson in the Western Cape, Tony Arendridge, says he expects about 20,000 people to join the march in the CBD to Parliament. Material bus company Golden Arrows and Taxis reported normal operations this morning. Tandi Swamau reports. Metro Rail has indicated that it will provide trains to commuters attending the march. Metro Rail also says very few, if any, of their operators indicated that they will not report for work today. Bus company Golden Arrow says while their bus drivers have indicated interest to join the march, bus says drivers will work through the peak hour and join the protest march later. A few commuters at the train stations said they will find time from work to join the march. I'm Tandi Soma, ABC Radio News in Kailicha. The Mbombela local municipality has appealed to businesses in the Nile Spray CBD and along the route of today's march to keep refuse away from the sidewalks to avoid any trashing by the marchers. The march is to start at the Low Falls Showgrounds through the Riverside Industrial Park and across the R40 Road on the Government Boulevard towards the Government Complex. The council said prepaid electrical carts can be bought as usual from the Caltex garage in Nalspeet and in White River, and payment for services and deposits can be done through Easy Pay outlets. The principle of no work, no pay will be strictly implemented with regards to municipal staff. And the man dubbed the Sunday rapist will appear in the Krugersdorp Magistrates Court on Gauteng's West Rand today. Johannes Stein faces 32 charges, including the murder of 16-year-old Louise Duval, who was kidnapped in Ruderport while on her way to school. He confessed to being the Sunday rapist who kidnapped and raped a number of young girls in Gauteng and Northwest provinces in 2008. The case was postponed last month to allow the state to compile a full indictment. It also gave the state time to obtain a certificate from the Directorate of Public Prosecutions for all the cases to be centralized. Stain gave himself up to the police after Deval disappeared and a burnt body believed to be hers was found on a farm in Machalisburg.